if n is equals to 5 then hybridization will be sp3d here if bond pairs are 5 and there is no lone pair then shape is tbp means tetragonal bipyramidal if here bond pairs are 4 and lone pair is 1 then shape is k shaped or distorted tetrahedral or seesaw like this k shape if bond pairs are 3 and lone pairs are 2 then shape is t shape as this if bond pairs are 2 and lone pairs are 3 then shape will be linear as this if n is equals to 6 then hybridization is sp3d2 or d2 sp3 if bond pairs are 6 and there is no lone pair then shape will be octahedral if uh, bond pairs are 5 and there is one lone pair then shape will be square pyramidal as shown in this diagram if bond pairs are 4 and lone pairs are 2 then shape is square planar as shown in this diagram if n is equals to 7 then hybridization will be sp3 d3 or d3 sp3 if bond pairs are 7 and there is no lone pair then shape will be pbp means pentagonal bipyramidal if bond pairs are 6 and there is one lone pair then shape will be distorted tetrahedral if bond pairs are 5 and there are lo two lone pairs then shape will be pentagonal planar um, as from these data we can easily identify shape of any molecule by by the help of lone pair lone pair of electrons in my next video i will discuss how to get the value of lone pairs means how to identify number of lone pairs present in a molecule okay thanks for watching have a nice day